Welcome to my series called Five Minutes with My Animals, where I let the clock run for five minutes and see what my animals have to teach us, starting now. All right, so this is Tyrion, my gray-banded king snake. She, um, is she as per a vet visit and some possible egg laying situations. I have a video all about that. She's a very inexperienced snake. She's only four, been in captivity her whole life. Um, she's much smaller than my black rat snake, Arya, who I had another video already posted about in this series. Um, Arya was very cautious coming across the grass here. That's from experience. This snake is just not letting anything stop her and not even trying to look for tunnels under the grass. So this snake, if she went up against Arya for five minutes, this snake would be more likely to be food than Arya was. <laughs> now Arya's 18. They're in the same uh, category, a family I think specifically of snake called Colubridae. You'll often hear to this family of snakes being called Colubrids. King snakes technically are snake eaters. The snake would pose no threat to Arya. Arya is much bigger. Obviously, they don't stay together either. But they will utilize a lot of the same behaviors. However, this snake's just plodding right along with her head up in the air, which would make it much easier to strike if I were a predator to just zone in on her head and come down right on that. She's also getting awfully close to my cat, and I don't want a situation. We're at about two minutes right now. I'm going to stop her from getting much farther ahead. She doesn't even smell you, babe. I know. I do not want uh, Xavier to feel like he has to strike at this snake. I expected some more derpiness with this snake than what Arya displays. I mean, she's just brazenly going across the lawn, like, no problem. Obviously less camouflaged in general than a black rat snake, but they're, I believe, a desert species. So they'd be going under like rocky outcrops and stuff. This is the old iguana pen. It's technically a cat. No, 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 no. Yeah, see, that could have been a bad situation. And honestly, it's the snake's fault because she put herself in that situation. Savior's good. I trust him, but not that much. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna pick her up. <laughs> I'm not going to stop filming, I'm just going to move out here. Because the snake would have walked right into a trap, right? She would have walked right into a predator's claws, literally. Went three and a half minutes and some change. And in derp fashion, she's headed right over to where she saw the predator before. The snake is not taking any precautions as far as it's preserving its life. She's not going slowly, she's not... She's coming right up to him again. <sighs> nope, 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 nope. You're making it difficult to film for five minutes, Tyrion, because... Jeez. <sighs> now, there is more shaded ground over here. However, she should be able to pick up scent particles of herself. And at the very least, me. I mean, humans are strongly smelling and um, she's choosing to go back the same direction where there was a predator I mean it's fitting that I have a derpy snake but I kind of already have some derpy animals so this king snake is not king or queen of anything at the moment <laughs> she's very pretty <laughs> and she's got a lot to learn 
Luckily, she's not out in the wild. She has me to take care of her. But my goodness. These snakes would um, also look for things they can crawl under, like these, you know, little pieces of wood, for example. <laughs> However, as you can see, she's just turning away from it and going wherever the heck she wants. Uh, so we're at 5.15 right now. <laughs> Let me go rescue the snake from herself. Thanks for watching 5 Minutes with My Animals. Let me know which animal you want to see next, and we'll see you soon. Bye!